When you think of earthworms, you probably imagine slimy little creatures moving through the dirt. They're not exactly the first thing that comes to mind when you think of innovative robots. But what if I told you these tiny worms hold the secret to revolutionizing robotic motion? Sounds futuristic, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly what a group of researchers achieved. Oh, and here's a bonus. They also took inspiration from tree frogs whose toe pads are designed to channel away excess fluid for a perfect grip. Ever heard that? Let me know in the comments and stick around for a meme at the end. It's one of my favorites yet. This amazing invention is explained in a study titled, A Worm-Like Soft Robot Based on Adhesion-Controlled Electrohydraulic Actuators. The team behind this discovery was led by Yang Zhuo Wu, who dared to ask, what if robots could slither like earthworms to navigate even the trickiest terrains? But let's back up for a second. Why earthworms? These creatures are masters of movement capable of navigating through tight spaces and dense soil with very little effort. Inspired by their motion, the researchers set out to create a modular robot that could mimic this movement. They wanted to solve one of the biggest challenges in robotics, navigating unstructured and unpredictable terrains. Imagine a robot designed like an earthworm where each module acts independently to compress and expand. The middle part behaves like a spring storing and releasing energy to create forward motion, while the end parts keep the structure stable. Simple in concept, yet amazing in practice. Here's where it gets exciting. The prototype was powered by electrohydraulic actuators, which act like tiny artificial muscles and added a bio-adhesive structure inspired by tree frogs and honeybees to help it grip surfaces. And the results, incredible. The robot achieved stable straight line movement with minimal deviation, even on wet surfaces. No slipping, no sliding. What's impressive is that it performed just as well on wet surfaces as it did on dry ones. And here's the amazing part. This worm-inspired crawler hit a maximum speed of 10.36 millimeters per second, about the speed of a caterpillar. Here's what I think. The authors mention that achieving 3D movement could be a game changer, and I completely agree. Imagine if the robot could crawl silently vertically up walls, it would revolutionize military reconnaissance. But here's where it gets exciting. What if we use these robots for environmental monitoring, like crawling underground to detect early signs of earthquakes? What other uses can you think of? Let me know in the comments. And now the meme of the week. Become a biter if you're curious and passionate about learning. Check out this other video on seed robots for disaster zones and see you next Wednesday.